So we're ready for F-18 flight two. Um, this flight, once I get it up, I'm gonna switch into my full complexity mode, um, which then gives me, oh, actually I didn't switch. Um, it gives me full span flaps with only upwards, well, an aileron returning to neutral, plus tailerons. I'll go full span to demonstrate. Landing. Um, it's already, well the tail runs will help it turn, it, it was struggling turning to land um, in the normal mode, so I'll, I'll take off in normal, normal, flight normal flight mode where it's just no tail on, or just normal free wing setup. So I'll take off like that, switch over to full complex mode, test the balances of rolls and what, how it's behaving. Um, I might do a slow flow, flyby with flaps and gear out just to test what it would be like to land. Throttle active. Have you reset the timers? So first is get it in the air. We go over, switch to full complexity. Now, you're not really going to see any behavior difference. Seems a bit more sensitive in roll, so the tailorons are probably adding in. Testing at the moment is the fact that tailorons have become active. Four hundred ninety-three milliamp hours. Pretty well rolled the same, really. Didn't tell any difference. So what we're going to do now is put the gear out. Six hundred forty-nine milliamp hours. So the first thing to do is just fly around with the gear out to see what it's like. Slows down a lot with that gear out. Yeah. And now we've got, now we've got the flaps out. So now we've got only the half ailer on working. Needs a fair bit of power just to fly around with the gear and flaps out. So what we'll do next one, is south end, 86 milliamp hours. Full flaps. Needs a lot of power like to fly south around with full flaps and gear out. Flaps up. Flaps retracted. 29.2. Gee, that is a dramatic change from gear, even just the gear out is a lot of drag. Um, even low level flaps, you put, them, put it out with full flaps, well full span full flaps, which I'm sure are not that massively greater than the normal full flaps in drag. It needed so much power, I'm flying at like 40% now at this speed and I was, I was using nearly 70% throttle. Of guarantee safe turns. So what I'm going to do now is switch to low level, um, low rate elevator. So I can no definitely feel um, low rate flies it around easy, but that's I'm using a lot of stick. I'm using in those turns, I'm using 50 to 70 percent somewhere stick to do a constant altitude. So um, 
after a few turns I'm used to it but it feels when you first do it it's quite disconcerting that you feel hey I've used a lot of elevator I haven't got a lot left if I need it for something so I've gone back to normal rate but anyway it's, um, it's still better to land with low rates So it's flying around at roughly 100, 105 kilometers an hour. I can't imagine, I'm at 40% throttle and that's 100. Um, when you go to full throttle and it's 134, it doesn't seem right to me. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not in the plane measuring the speed so I don't really know, but it doesn't seem right. So now we gear out. Flaps, Flaps down, low rate pitch, I'm using a bit of rudder to turn because it doesn't like turning still, Elevator low rate, 29.3 volts, 17 amps, 3,397 um, I think that's the gear door broken off. It's rolling a long way under no throttle. Um, now I'm running a 90 millimeter center of gravity. When I come around to land, it's almost like an automatic nose up angle of attack. I'm, I'm pretty well neutral, neutral stick. I don't have to create it, it's just doing it. Um, which is possibly a combination of the flaps, what they cause, and but the flaps in straight level flight, they're trimmed, it doesn't pitch up or down. So that's, it, I mean, it's very nice that it does that, it just means it's automatically coming around with a, looks like about a 5 to 10 degree angle of attack, and you don't have to really do anything. Uh, full span flaps, well, in total, you know, if you look at that angle, there's not that much angle. There shouldn't be that much drag from the flaps, let alone if the ailerons are added in as flaps. So I'm not sure where the drag's coming from. I, it, true, it must be coming from all of the gear, because even putting the gear down before you put the flaps down needs a fair increase in power um, to flow. You can just see it start slowing down. So that's that's very interesting. It's it is the most decelerating plane or jet or any plane that I've got when you put the gear down, um, put the flaps down, and it really becomes slow. But that doesn't have any hint of stalling or any problem. But I'm not exploring how slow. So I'm I'm throttling up to do the turns just to guarantee it's going to be safe. But it would take more time. You just slowly get used to. Possibly you could. Instead of being 70% throttle, you could be just flying much slower at 50% throttle and totally safe still, so I don't know that yet. But anyway, it's quite nice in general. It's doing all the right things. Um, there's no reason I can see not to use the um, full complexity mode. So the ailerons weren't really, the tail ones are making up for what the ailerons lose um, because they're only moving half you know, only down, they only move downwards. Um, so it all works quite well, so I'm happy with it and I'll, I'll fly it on always in this mode now and then start exploring what different speeds do and, and for example, for landing. landing with uh, full span, full flaps would be somewhat exciting as to how much lift and how slow can it go. Flaps retracted.